According to the theory of loop quantum gravity, our world is not what it seems. Everything in our world is quantized, meaning that eventually there's a set smallest amount that you can't further divide. For light, we have photons. For electricity, it's an electron. But what if space and time itself was quantized? According to the theory of loop quantum gravity, it is. It makes sense too. Imagine if you wanted to get to destination A and decided to approach it by walking half the distance between you and A for each step. If space wasn't quantized, you could infinitely divide the distance in half, and you would never truly reach point A. But with the quantization of space, you eventually wouldn't be able to divide the distance anymore and would be pushed to reach point A. This distance, the smallest quantized length of space, is called one Planck length. Now, let's take the whole world and divide it up into a grid by this Planck length. Each square is one Planck length by one Planck length, the smallest area possible. But our world isn't made up of squares. It's made up of circles and spheres. Mass and matter through, move through these quantized bits of space, as shown here with the photon traveling across the screen from the light bulb. Because of this, our entire universe resides within these quantized spheres. That means that this area, shaded red, exists outside of our universe, and that we cannot interact with it. Now, for a small digression about particle entanglement. Particle entanglement occurs when two particles, no matter how far apart they are in space, instantly interact with each other. A common example is that when two spin-coupled electrons are separated across the globe, they will always occupy opposite spin states. When one's spin state is manually altered, the other state will instantaneously switch to oppose the other's state. There is zero time delay for this. This concept can be applied to the quantized space spheres from earlier. It's completely possible that the spheres in our universe are entangled so that the spheres that we perceive to be next to each other actually aren't. If we use the photon example from before, we'd perceive it to travel like this. In our reality, our quantized spheres could be completely separated, but entangled. This would pr still produce the universe we perceive as light enters sphere one, jumps to sphere two, and reaches our eyes. From this, we can deduce that it's entirely possible that there's disconnected spheres between one and two, that have no interaction with spheres one and two, and contain other matter from somewhere like New York. From this new model, it works exactly like before. Light enters sphere one, jumps to sphere two, and reaches our eyes. Our entire universe could be jumbled up in this way, and we have no idea what it could actually look like outside of our three-dimensional perception. This theory also leads to other really cool theories, such as a possible multiverse and teleportation. In the infinite jumbled world of loop quantum gravity, anything is possible.